Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about some of the more vulnerable, covert, narcissistic moves that a narcissist will say, phrases that a narcissist will say to gaslight your reality so that they can either get away with their behaviour or break down your boundaries to get their needs met by you. This is when a narcissist is going to act all vulnerable, like they're the victim, so that you're the one that feels like you're attacking them by the narcissist making out that you're attacking them. It's just another manipulative format that a narcissist will use to rationalise or justify their behaviour rather than admit to their own wrongdoings. A covert manipulation method to hide their true intent, to hide what they're doing to you because they believe they're deserving of that special attention. They believe they're deserving of special treatment. They believe they're entitled to do as they please and they lack the empathy to care for those they hurt in the process. A narcissist will neglect you and then act all vulnerable and the victim and claim that you're the one that's neglecting them to get away with what they've done to you when in reality they usually lack the loyalty, they lack the respect, they lack the communication to have an a relationship with you that works in both parties' best interest. A narcissist is looking to get everything their own way. They're looking for dominance. They're looking for control. Some narcissistic people enjoy playing the victim. They get a real twisted kick out of what they can achieve by playing the victim, by getting you to defend and explain yourself to them, by getting you to make it up to them. They're going to play the woe is me, they're going to play the neglected one, they're going to play the abused one to get you to work harder to please them so that you don't recognise what they're actually doing to you. Narcissistic people say these phrases to break down your boundaries, to get you to do something that you wouldn't ordinarily do, to get you to explain yourself to them, to get your, you to defend yourself to them so that the narcissist can justify their behaviour. Non-narcissistic people can say these things. Someone who has been neglected can say these things, someone who is genuinely being neglected by another person, which is why it's all the more believable when a narcissistic person says these things to exploit another. Some people can say these things when, when their expectations, someone has led them into a false belief of expectations of what they can expect from another person and when that other person lets them down, when that other person breaks a promise on them, breaks agreements on them, neglects them, people can say these things because they are the victim, which is why it's more believable when a narcissist says these things to a victim, to excuse the narcissist behaviour and why it's so easy for genuine victims to blame and question themselves and not see the bigger picture of what's actually happening to them because in some way they can relate with the narcissist because what the narcissist is doing to them what they feel the narcissist is claiming the target is doing it to the narcissist so they have the compassion for how the narcissist might be feeling and don't recognise what the narcissist is truly doing. Narcissists say these things to avoid consequences, to avoid disciplinary action, to avoid people finding out about their true character, to get people to support and help the narcissist, usually with somebody else's downfall, to get people to feel sorry for the narcissist so the narcissist can lap up the attention. It's a double win for a narcissist. Not only do they go around hurting people, they then go around blaming the other person and getting the sympathetic sorrow from people, which is why you'll often find they are unpleasantly proud of the things they do. They have that quiet smugness. So some vulnerable covert narcissistic phrases that a narcissist will use 
to gaslight you into believing you're hurting them, to gaslight you into thinking you're not doing enough for them, to gaslight you into believing you're not helping them, to gaslight you into thinking you're the one with the problem, when technically you do have a problem, you have a narcissist gaslighting your reality so that you serve them and forget about your own needs. And then when you come at them with these kinds of phrases, you then believe you're the one, again, with the problem. A narcissist might come at you and say something like, after all I've done for you, you're so ungrateful. Wow, I didn't think you could be this mean. I didn't think you could be this cruel. I didn't think you were this bitter. When in reality, people aren't usually bitter people are usually hurt people are usually wanting justice for what the narcissist has done to them when a narcissist comes at you and claims after all i've done for you it shows more that they only did for you so that they could take something from you when you look at when you pull the layers back and look at the actual reality more often than not a narcissist does very little for you other than break promises on you they make a promise to get their own need met and then they break a promise where you will find yourself bound, bending over backwards to help them while they continue to let you down and hurt you so when you say to them after all i've done for you how can you treat me in this way you weren't doing those things to get something in return you're asking them because you cannot get your head around how somebody could hurt you in that way a narcissist is doing very little for you and then claiming after all i've done for you to get you to do something for them that you don't want to do oh i knew it would be my fault because they want you to then stop, take a step back and say, oh no, I'm not saying it's your fault. No, I'm not blaming you. So that then the emphasis of the conversation is on you and not the narcissist. You weren't there for me to try and justify why they've lied to you, cheated on you, hurt you, let you down. They're, instead of having that open communication with you and saying, hey, I'm feeling a little bit this and discussing it and coming together and working it out together, a narcissist is going to feel like you're neglecting them. They're then going to go out and punish you and then they're going to blame you and claim that you were the one that weren't there for them. But the thing is with a narcissist, you can give them everything and it will still not be enough for a narcissist. They are incredibly self-entitled people. They are incredibly envious people. So no matter how much you give them, they're always searching for more. They are that cup with holes in. No matter how much you fill it up, it's just draining straight back out. I'm doing the best I can to make you feel like you're asking too much of them and that you should give them a break, you should cut them some slack when usually they're doing the bare minimum and to justify doing the bare minimum, they are going to claim that they're doing the best they can so that they don't have to do any more. Work colleagues are excellent at doing this one, passing and shifting the workload over to everybody else while they sit there playing the victim, claiming they're doing the best that they can. And people can be going through some horrendous times within their lives. So this can actually happen to genuine people. Genuine people can be doing the best they can. So when narcissistic people are using it as an excuse to do very little and gain the maximum, it's difficult to see what they are actually doing and who they actually are and very easy to fall for their lies, very easy to fall for their traps. Nothing I do is ever good enough for you to make you feel like you're making them feel unworthy so that you accept accept less from them because it's, it's conditioning you to be grateful for the breadcrumbs of things they do do for you because when you comment on the things they don't do which are things that they usually promised they would do or they did in the beginning to sell you that illusion so they they raise your expectations of them they raise your expectations of them and then they gaslight you to lower 
your standards of behaviour you will and will not accept from them. While conditioning you to blame yourself, to question yourself, to make them feel better, to help them out, to justify their behaviour, to explain yourself to them, to defend yourself to them. Narcissistic people are some of the most offensive people you can ever meet and you are going to get defensive around offensive people. And if they can poke away at your defences to take your guard down, they will so that they can manipulate, so that they can exploit. You always take their side. Narcissistic people have a, a need to be right, a need to be in control, a need to know that their opinion is fact and that is it. When in reality society changes all the time so what might currently stand to be true in six months, a year, ten years down the line might be something completely different or new evidence might appear. Yet if you don't take a narcissist side, if you don't take on their point of view, even if you're not doing it to argue with them or go against them, even if you're just like, well, yes, I can see where you're coming from. However, I can see where this person's coming from. They're just going to wrap themselves into the victim and go, oh, I knew you'd take their side. You'll never listen to me. You're never interested in my opinion. To again, get you to try and make it up to them because you have a different opinion to them or because you can see both sides of the story. A narcissist wants you on their side and their side only. They're not interested in innocence and till proven guilty they're innocent in they are right and all others are wrong all others have turned against them similar to those oh i knew i'd be wrong oh i'm always wrong oh i can never get anything right for you can i again to make you feel like you're asking too much of them or they'll turn around and say something along the lines of well i'm not perfect and I've said this in videos, we're all imperfectly perfect in our own way. Narcissistic people will say I'm not perfect to justify their behaviour. They don't say I'm not perfect to think, oh, made a mistake there. What can I do to rectify this? What can I do to not make that the same mistake again? Narcissists justify their behaviour by saying, well, I'm not perfect. Therefore, I will do it over and over and over again. They don't say I'm not perfect to learn from a mistake. They say I'm not perfect to justify a mistake and justify repeatedly making that mistake. Or they'll turn around and say to you, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot you were perfect. So again, you get on the defensive and start explaining yourself to them when they're getting away with what they're doing to you and never learning from their own behaviour. While you change constantly, to please them. It's a catch-22 with a narcissist. It's, it's that double bind where you are going to be trapped in two uncomfortable situations between standing up for what is right and feeling like you're hurting them. No matter what you say to a narcissist, if it's not going to the narcissist where you're going to be made out to be in the wrong, you're going to be made out to feel like you're neglecting them, like you're hurting them, like you're being selfish, like you're being awkward, like you're being stubborn, like you're being the manipulative one because the narcissist wants to get their own way with you while hiding what they're truly doing to you and the more you try and defend and explain yourself to them the more they're going to draw you into that non-productive argument the more they're going to try and bait that reaction out of you so that they can switch the game on you and play the victim from even turning around and provoking you to get you to emotionally react to them and then they can turn around and say wow what's your problem have you had a bad day when realistically they started the scenario off in the first place. However, because you take responsibility for your own behaviour, you're the one that ends up blaming yourself. A narcissist wants to influence you. They want to condition you into believing that you are the problem so that they can get away with the problems they cause you. And we do need an awareness of these kinds of people and the things they say and the meaning behind it and what is actually happening to us so that we can make a choice based on the entirety of the situation and not what a narcissist is leading us to believe. 
if somebody has hurt you, if somebody has betrayed your trust, if somebody has made a mistake, these phrases do not justify what they have done. If they've made a mistake and say, oh, sorry, you know what I'm like, I'm working on it, and then they go and work on it, and then they go and change, and then they don't repeat that mistake, that is somebody who is genuine. When someone says, oh, I'm sorry, you know what I'm like, and then carries on being like that, that is down to us to think, that's what I like, I don't like being around this kind of person, I need to safely step away. It's not always possible to go no contact with narcissistic people, in which case it then needs to be limited contact or grey rot. When it comes to family members that you might have to be around at an event or if you're co-parenting with a narcissist, sometimes when they're firing these things at you to get you to serve them, the only kind of responses you can come back so that they don't twist things onto you is, is things like, we both know that's not true. So when they're accusing you of something, you can just say, we both know that's not true. And then let them go off on one. Obviously, keep yourself safe. But if they're firing insults over messages because they're manipulating a situation in some way, so they're going to accuse you of being awkward, of being stubborn, of being childish, then you just need to simply say, we both know that's not true. What a narcissist does with that information is on them, not you. Or just turn around and when they say, you know what I'm like, just, okay, yeah, do know what you're like and I don't particularly like it. You don't have to say all of that to them because that's just going to go into another non-productive argument. Just say, okay. Or when they're accusing you of being selfish, awkward or stubborn, just not have a message in case they take you into court or in person, in front of children, in front of family members, just so that's possible. Because to the narcissist, it is possible. Your reality isn't the same as theirs and they don't like this, so they're going to try and gaslight you into matching their reality. So to them, it is possible. Yeah, that's possible. And then carry on in your lane, living your life radical acceptance of who they are as a person. Some narcissistic people, most narcissistic people lack empathy to care for other people, if not all narcissistic people lack the empathy to care. So you do need to keep yourself safe. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please add those into the comments. If you are looking for further support and understanding and help overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissist personality disorder. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with in your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact, and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.